All right, so right now, this is where we are. We're live outside. This is where one of the assaults happened. This is the bus stop where it happened. And so uh, we're going to start seeing an increased presence, right? Well, we're already seeing that right now. We've got a Seattle police officer stationed outside the courthouse, and we're going to start to see a whole lot more of that. So this is because over the last year, there have been 160 assaults, including the attacks on an attorney and a Metro bus driver. In fact, many employees and jurors say that they just don't feel comfortable coming to the courthouse. The situation had gotten so bad outside that King County Superior Court Judge Jim Rogers, he called for the shutdown, the closure of the Third Avenue entrance. Well, last week, King County Council responded, approving $600,000 in emergency funding for security. According to the Seattle Times, that money is going to pay for two officers on 3rd Avenue during business hours. And that's certainly what we are seeing right now. As we come back out here live, you can see those officers patrolling the area, making sure everything is safe. People are hoping this will make a difference because certainly it is a scary situation when you feel like you can't come to work, like you feel like you can't come to do your civic duty. So now it seems a little bit safer. We'll see what happens. Reporting live outside the King County Courthouse, Amity Adresi, back to you in studio.